we say here on the show, there's always two sides to every story. And seemingly, as we've told you many times before, both Meghan and Harry's recollection, you know, loose grip on reality, seemingly gets more unstable day by day. And it's always interesting when you see a particular story hitting the headlines and you can see that it's been placed there by spin doctors, you know, to try and make, obviously, you know, Prince Harry seem quite normal and quite together. And you look and think, OK, let's just check how real this particular story is. And as many people know, I have excellent contacts within royal circles. But this particular story really caught my eye. This really all centers upon the fact that apparently, according to Prince Harry, his elder brother, the Prince of Wales, Prince William, was absolutely furious about this. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, nice to see you. By the way, thank you for your lovely comments about Randolph Scott on one of our shorts that we put up, I should have said one of my shorts, it is just me. Literally people ask me, you know, is there a team of people? No, it's just me. I film them, edit them and everything else. So all the mistakes that you people tell me off for. Sadly, yes, they're all my fault. I know I'm not looking for Simba. I'm just telling you, you know what I mean? But Randolph Scott, lovely to remember him, wasn't it? You see them, don't you, in so many films and you think, oh, yeah, you know. And then when you look them up, you know, as I say, it's incredible. As I say, I was lucky enough to meet so many people that knew him. Wonderful fella, apparently. Back as ever, though, to your breaking world story of the day. This really all centers upon the fact that apparently, according to Prince Harry, that Prince William was jealous of this particular situation. Now, I don't know about you, I do find this very hard to believe, you know, when you think about it. You have a, there you are, two brothers, very famous, you know, in the world's most famous and celebrated family. But this was all about, of course, Prince Harry and his wedding to the actress Meghan Markle at St. George's Chapel all those years ago now. What's interesting here, you see, is that Prince Harry was balking against the idea of shaving off his beard for said wedding. Now, apparently, according to Harry, he told the Queen that Meghan wouldn't recognise him without the beard at the altar. Wow, she got cataracts or something. I think you could basically see that it is Prince Harry, you know? She must have seen many pictures when she looked him up. There's no two ways about it. Now, apparently the infighting was simply this, that according to William, he wasn't allowed to have his beard when he married the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton at Westminster Abbey all of those years ago in 2011. I was there. The story really is simply this, let me tell you. William has no recollection whatsoever of this particular conversation. And it was Her Majesty the Queen that said to him, you're more than happy, you know, to keep the beard if that's what you want. But in years to come, you know, would you still like that look? You have to remember, it's an historical picture. And if you grow tired of the beard, that will be the one image that keeps coming back and back. Obviously, the royal family have no problem with beards. Look at Edward VII including, of course, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip. He sort of ummed and awed about having a beard way back in 1947 to Princess Elizabeth. So again, as a very good source, very close to William told me, this story has no recollections. Harry and Meghan will know this, very much so. Recollections will indeed vary. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.